set everything up here. She stands up there and everyone talks and, and everyone listens to her. They're supposed to come up to the sidewalk. I told the organizer she's supposed to, she said she's going to come up close since she knows we can't get closer. This is all the party we're supposed to go. Here's Dan. Hey Dan! How are you guys? We're here. Is this, this is cool. Talk to the Daily News. I'm over Ooh. here. Okay. Hi. Hi. Uh, if you're cool with me videoing, I'm going to do okay. that. First of all, what's your name? My name is Delaney Morgan. And why did you choose to participate in the walkout? Um, I think it's important that even though we're in a small town, we need to stand up for what we think is right. Did you have any pressure against you not to participate? or? Um, I think there's a lot of kids at school that think it's dumb, but I still think it's important that we do it. And then how, I mean, Longview, the norm is that people are activists, you know, like gun rights. Mm -hmm. How do you feel going against that? Um, I don't know. I think there's always a lot of pressure, but I stand up for what I believe in. And I think it's important that our state legislators know that it's important to us. Um, we're thankful that they recently passed the ban on bump stocks, but they also vetoed another gun safety bill. And it's important that we're safe in school. And did the airsoft incident affect you or your decision to walk out today? Um, I wasn't even here at school, but it still largely affected me. I didn't even find out until afterwards, but I was so scared for the safety of my friends. And I think that, yes, it's scary that it can happen even here. Thank you. Thanks. Hi. Hi. What's your name? I'm Elizabeth Sacker. And why did you choose to participate today? Um, I choose, um, well, me and my mom were thinking, like, yeah, we should definitely, like, I should definitely do this, because, like, this is just getting really ridiculous. I mean, schools are for learning, not for making threats. And then, uh, how do you feel going against the norm in Longview where many people support gun rights? Um, I feel like, like, um, like, I think, like, this town isn't, like, the best when it comes to the gun rights, and, today is all about keeping I think there should be more on that, I mean, it's basically yeah, like so guns are allowed to everywhere, and to that is that's not wise. It's not right, mm -hmm. and Everyone that should really be stopped. Stop. And then, how did the airsoft incident affect you or your decision to come out here today? Um, uh, it changed me. Like, definitely, definitely going to do, going to do this. Um, I I was there during the incident, and it was just very frightening on how rumors spread because I kept hearing different things about it like I heard oh they're coming in the school oh cops are here oh they're at other schools other schools are in lockdown and it's just we have a station set up where you can write a letter terrifying. to your representative Thank you. from the Florida shooting Why did you choose to participate in the walkout today? Because um, after okay, recent events, I think it's very important that um, we are heard 
because um, we, us as students and our parents should not be afraid that we're not going to come home after school. Did you feel any pressure not to participate? Um, yes. A lot of people were saying that it was kind of dumb and then um, some people were saying we might get in trouble, but I decided to just continue and do this because um, I real, one of my values is to stand up for what I believe in and to make my voice heard, so I thought this was very important. And then, obviously, the norm is in Longview is that a lot of people support gun rights. How do you feel going against that? Um, I think that no matter what, I'm going to stick with my opinion and what I believe in because I just don't agree with it. And I know there's a lot of other people, obviously, who don't who stick with me and I think our voices should be heard. And then how did the airsoft incident affect you or your decision to come out here today? So about a week after that happened, my mom told me about this walkout and I 100% wanted to do it because I was so scared. Even though it was just a scare, we didn't know what was going on for two and a half hours and I thought that there, I wasn't going to see the same students every day the next day. So I'm glad to make it heard that gun violence should be taken care of because I don't want other people to feel the same way that I did that day. You choose to participate in the walkout today? I chose to participate in this walkout because of the lockdown that happened here. Um, it was terrifying and we didn't know what was going on. We barricaded the door with desks and we tied it shut with a belt and a girl cried in my arms. We didn't know what was going on. We, uh, we were all texting our parents thinking it was going to be the last thing we ever said. And so I decided to come out here today to help unite our school and community. And some people are saying that this has no point and it's about gun control, but it's not. It's about honoring the lives that are lost because of school shootings and things that happen like that. So did you feel pressure not to come out here then? I felt plenty of pressure. This morning I got into a heated debate with someone about how this does have a point. Mm -hmm. They said it was pointless and it's just an excuse to get out of class, but it's not and anyone using it to get out of class shouldn't be here. And then in Longview, the norm is that people really support gun rights. How do you feel perhaps going against that? People can be allowed to have guns, but they should be harder to get. It shouldn't be, you know, you just walk into a store okay, and get a gun. It's a little bit of a... I'm encouraging them the things to do. Why did you choose to participate today? Um, well, the, I personally think that shooting is a really big issue mm -hmm. here, just everywhere. And when we had our lockdown from a student bringing a fake airsoft gun, it gave me PTSD and I was out of school for literally two weeks and I lost 15 pounds from it due to like depression and shock from the act and lots of people keep saying oh this happens everywhere it's why are you losing weight why are you missing school it's not that big of a deal when it actually is because everyone's getting really affected by it it's not like just a short funny thing did you feel any pressure not to come out here today to participate not at all because i wanted to show that this is a really big issue and i'm actually kind of sad that not like more people came out but I just feel like if other schools are showing this, that it's an issue, then we need to also. Thank you. If I can get you to spell your name. And then just, I can really quick. I'm sorry. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I gotta go. Uh, okay. Bus. Why'd you choose to participate today? 
Um, well, I've always been a really strong supporter of gun control laws, and I think that Parkland was a really big straw for me, and I think that that, and that, I think that was a sign that we needed to take time to try and make a difference. We also had um, a scare a couple weeks ago where we thought that there was an active shooter in the building, and I wasn't here, I was over at the other school, but just that moment of fear, I just feel like it was time to do something. Did you feel any pressure not to participate today? Um, I feel like everyone was pretty open and accepting about it. I have a lot of friends that chose not to do it, and so I think in that aspect, yeah, but for the most part, everyone was really supportive of it. So. Thank you. If I could get you to spell your name, do you want to do sure. it as well? Why did you choose to participate today? I chose to participate because there's always a way to improve things. There is no set in stone best way to solve it. And as we go along, as these shootings happen, we learn more and more there's a way to change it for the better. Now, I have family who are card-carrying NRA members. I have family who, ab who love tighter gun control. So for me, it's just, I want to be out here to show that should it be control or should it be regulation that we use? Mm -hmm. And did the airsoft incident affect you or your decision to come out here today? I'd, I'd say it was more of a slightly different incident because you can't really regulate airsoft guns in the same way. But I, I definitely can see the reason that some people would come out here because of that, because there was a definite scare because people did think it was a real gun. I thought it was too, but again, the rumor mill was on full swing. And then in terms of, you said your your family, you have family members that belong to the NRA, did you feel pressure not to come out here and participate? No, it, with them it's make your own choice, really. If, if, if I came out here for, if I came out here against, no matter, it's my choice. Perfect.